friends. Just a quick little video today to show you a little uh, quick project that you can do um, to make these really cute little um, hymn page envelopes for your journals or whatever you want to use. Um, so really, really quick. Um, I have a piece of a, an old hymn book. Uh, a sweet friend of mine gifted me a hymn book that a church was getting rid of and I rescued um, one so that I could <laughs> use it for my projects. Um, this one I'm going to cut down a little bit because I want my envelopes just slightly smaller so I'm just going to cut off some of this white space here. Um, it's, it's nice to take apart these hymn books from the middle like from the signatures and then you can actually sew them into a journal as a signature which I've done many times before. So I just want to take a little bit off the top, a little bit off the bottom. You can make these any size you want. You can use them with regular book pages or any kind of book pages really. Okay so then I have two pages and then I want to show you a trick that I kind of was inspired to do, but I think I maybe modified it a little bit. Um, sometimes I do a big batch of, of coffee dyeing paper, but sometimes I just want a piece or two. So I made a really strong um, brew of coffee in this half pint jar. I think I used probably about a tablespoon of coffee for half a cup of water. Maybe not quite a tablespoon of coffee. Anyways, just kind of make it strong. This is maybe even too strong sometimes. So what I do is I just take one of these little uh, makeup puffs. I dip it in there and it's very strong. And I just do this. And when you do it this way, it does not saturate it. It um, dyes it super quick. It dries super quick. And you can just do, I do this often for the back of tags or something like that. If I just want, you know, as I'm working, I just want the back of a tag after I've already decorated it, especially. Um, this doesn't harm the front um, because it doesn't get very wet. So just do that on both pages like that. And I just keep this coffee jar in my, on my desk. Lasts for quite a while. Some people put it in the fridge. Um, if they're using coffee, like I've seen coffee spray or whatever, they'll put it in the fridge. Um, I've never had a problem with it, but you could do that if you wanted to. And then what I do is usually, like now I have a nice even dyeing job, but I like a little bit more variation. So I'll dip it in again and I'll just do a little bit of uh, splatters here and there. And just kind of wring out your little sponge thing and then I'll just let it drippity drip. I usually do two at once so then I can drippity drip on there. So just drip it so that you kind of get some nice splotches there. I'm happy with those splotches so then I'll just let that dry and I'll uh, show you what that looks like in a second. Okay so while those are drying for a minute I have some more that I had dyed yesterday I think. So I just want to show you how to fold them up to make an envelope. So I just kind of eyeball it whatever I think that I want. Um, you could measure them that one is about not quite three inches, two and three quarter inches. And when you're doing it, you're going to have a bit of it upside down. But I like, you know, that you can see the title there. So you can, you know, <clears throat> play around with which side that you want facing out. So I think I like that side. And then I usually just take my 
corner rounder. This is optional, but and see this one I left a bit of white space, which is nice too to have a bit of white space on your on your projects. It gives a little variation. So <clears throat> that's basically it. And then what you do is, um, if you'd like to sew, you can also glue it, but I like to sew. I just open it up and I sew around there. And well, actually first I sew this when it's open. So I would sew this first, and then I would fold it up and I would sew all the way around like this. So, And then you can decorate them however you want. I usually just kind of leave them until I have a project, but this is just a couple of things I have on my desk. There's a, a bird. You can put a label. Here's some die cuts I did with my jelly plate prints a while ago. Here's a flower I made a while ago. Um, this is a collage paper clip actually. So that one can actually be paper clipped on. Um, here's a little collage Holy Spirit. Here's another collage replenish. Really anything. I mean, anything you have that's, you know, matching your journal. There's a love. Um, you can put something, you know, just glue it on the top part of the flap. And then sometimes, like, especially if it's a little bit heavier, like these collages, it'll just keep it closed. Or if you really want to have a good seal on it, you can open that up and put a bit of... Uh, Velcro on there or even a magnet to hold that closed. Um, I had made this little folder for uh, Just Journal January I was following along and um, I, I got this idea for the folder from Kathy's Garden so ins inspiration everywhere and um, so you can just tuck this little envelope in there you can even tuck it in upside down and it will automatically stay shut and you have a nice little enclosure there and then of course you can put things in your pouch as well so I'm just going to quickly decorate one just to to show you you know one of the possibilities um, I need some glue there's my glue so I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, cheesecloth down here here's just a little square that I had sitting in my boxes on my desk here is this a right I think that's right side up like that doesn't matter if it's under the flap because you'll be able to see that afterwards and then you can just use some kind of word. There's inspire, believe. Um, you can also use a label. Um, just breathe, that's a little bit big. I think I'll just use this inspire. I like to make things ahead of time so that, you know, you can just grab and go with whatever you want. And you have all these choices. You don't have to stop and make a, a label and a word and whatever. So there's just a simple one that you can use. You can uh, hold it with a paper clip or like I said with this little folder thing you can just um, tuck it in there. And I love that it says you know tis so sweet to trust in Jesus on this one. So super simple um, it's nice to have these in your stash ready to go so I just thought I would show you that quick and easy way to make a hymnal envelope thanks friends mm -hmm.